As a high school student, Dean Ogden was mainly interested in math and science. However, during his senior year, a game opened his eyes to the supernatural, the Ouija board. I was really skeptical because I thought maybe the other people were just moving it. But then when I started to use it, I realized that I wasn't the one doing it. In his 20s, supernatural forces were running his life. At a friend's house one night, a spirit made its presence known. Dean charged up the staircase to confront whatever it was. It felt like something flew through the air and grabbed a hold of me and began to squeeze me around the chest. And in my mind, I could sense that it was telling me that what I had done was wrong and that I should never try anything like that again. Now Dean was determined to meditate more fervently to increase his occult powers. He focused on the mythical goddess Ishtar. I would go out into the little forest that was around my parents' house, and I really felt that I would get more of a connection with her, and that through that connection, I was gaining more and more power. At the peak of his supernatural power, Dean received two traumatic blows. His girlfriend of several years broke up with him, and his favorite aunt and uncle were killed in a car crash. I just felt confused because I have been in control all my life, and now that has been taken away from me, and there's no place I could go to get it back. Dean's best friend also broke up with his girlfriend, but somehow he handled it differently. I was struggling every day dealing with this, and I couldn't see any hope in sight, but here he had recovered almost perfectly in just a matter of weeks. Dean asked his best friend for advice. He was a pastor's son who had returned to his faith. He said Jesus helped him move on, and he invited Dean to a Bible study. I really felt like an outsider. They would worship, they would read out of the Bible, but when they prayed, it felt as if I'd been set on fire. And I really felt like I was being punished by my goddess for being someplace I shouldn't be. Now Dean was more confused than ever, so he tried to reconnect with Ishtar for answers. I would focus and I would meditate, and nothing. I felt nothing. It was almost like someone had turned their back on me. In desperation, Dean reasoned he would try the Bible study once more. This time, the burning sensation wasn't as uncomfortable, and he discovered something new. The lepers are cleansed and I found for the first time that I could read the Bible and understand it, and that it was giving me a direction that I didn't have before, and that it actually felt like it was filling me up, that it was filling that void in my heart that I had been missing. Then someone gave him a study Bible, and he couldn't put it down. As I read the Bible, I realized that the power that I had been tapping into was from evil. And you know that you can't do good with evil. And so I realized at that point that the one true good power is that of God and of Jesus. Then came Halloween in 1996. Dean was well aware that nightfall marked the greatest potential for communication with supernatural powers. The evening didn't seem right, so I left. And I went home. When I got home, I knew that I had to make a decision. I knew the truth. I knew the sides. And it was at that point that I went into my room, I got down on my knees, and I prayed that Jesus would forgive me my sins and that he would take control of my life. Not only did Dean accept Jesus as his savior on Halloween night, the next day was the brightest he had ever experienced. I felt I was alive for the very first time. And I knew that I had a God that was walking next to me that would be there day in and day out and would never turn his back on me. Dean has walked in the power of God for over 10 years. He met his wife, Rachel, at a Bible study, and now they have two children. He also teaches the youth group at his church. I knew that it was the end of my search and that from this point forward, I could focus on growing with him and learning more about him and diving in and getting closer to Christ so I can be more like him.